Okay, lesson 6-2, using non-standard units to measure area. So yesterday we used standard units to measure the area. So we used the same um, size square to measure all the different types of shapes that we were measuring. Today we're gonna use different size squares to measure different shapes. But each time you go to measure a shape, you must use the same size for that one shape, okay? So, a unit square is a square with sides that are each one unit long. So again, it has to be a square. We cannot be doing rectangles or ovals or anything like that to, to figure out how many of them fit inside the shape. So, this is one square unit. So, this shape right here, has how many of these squares inside of it. You can put this square here, here, and here. So it's a total of three inside of here. There are three units square. If we're gonna use this little guy, see that's a totally different size than that one, but that's okay because as long as they tell us which size to use for this whole shape, for this whole problem, we're fine. We can use this size to figure out this one and then this is a whole new problem. And as long as they tell us what size to use, we can figure out how many of these are inside of here. So we have one, two, and I like to make the little dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's nine going across, which means clearly there should be nine here too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And nine here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine plus nine plus nine is 27 square units. Now for this one right here, this is our next one we're going to do. And they're telling us we want you to use this size. So they're showing you already that one can fit here. Now you might be able to visually go, okay, oops. I can fit another one there, I can fit another one of these here, and another one of those there. You might be able to. It's not easy for everybody. The best way to do it would be to draw this, just trace the size, to cut it out. So I want you to do this. I want you to get a piece of paper and I want you to trace over this unit square right here. Trace over that one and cut it out. So pause the video and do that. Okay, so your box that you cut out should be that size. Doesn't have to be perfect, but it should be right there. So I can fit this here. One, two, three, I can fit it right there, and right there, four. So I could fit one, two, three, four of them here. So this area is four square units. <clears throat> now, they were kind to us, and if we go like right down to number three, it's the same size that we just cut out. This size and that size is the same. So I want you to use this little piece of paper here and figure out how many of these can you fit inside this T shape. They're showing you that you can fit one there. Okay, so pause the video, use your little piece of paper, and see how many more can you fit inside to fill this whole thing. Okay, so you should be coming back now after pausing it. So you have one that fits there. That would be two. You can fit one right here. So that's one, two. We'll go right about there. And I can fit one here. Three. I can fit one right here. Four. 
and five. So I should be able to fit one, two, three, four, five. A total of five square units. This one, again, don't confuse that. That is not part of the shape. That T is the shape. They're just showing you how big each square unit is to figure out how many of these can you fit inside of that shape. They want to say basically if I wanted to lay grass and plant grass in this, this um, garden and each piece of grass came in this square shape, how many of these square shapes would I need to buy to fill that whole area? Okay, let's look over here. Now, this is the same shape as this. But instead of using a unit square that's this big, they want us to use a unit square that's that big, much smaller. So we're gonna do the same thing. We are going to use our piece of paper and we are going to trace over that little square. So pause the video, make a little square that's that shape. Okay, so you should come back. Your little square should fit right inside of there, okay? Now if we look, they're showing us that right here, they can fit four of these going across. One, two, three, four, okay? So now I can know I can fit another one right underneath it across like that and of course I can fit four going across my lines not very straight and then I could fit another one going across there and another one at the bottom my lines aren't very great but you get the gist So I can fit 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. About 16 of these little squares inside that big huge box. Much different than the four of these because these are much bigger. So they're each going to take up more space. Okay, remember this shape down here. This big T shaped here. Same shape over here. But they want to know how many of these little guys can we fit, okay? And they're showing us that there you can fit two rows of these. So if we go across like that, we just need to figure out how many of these can we fit here, okay? So I know I can fit four there which means I can fit four over here, right? And then I can fit those going across there as well, which makes sense, okay? Now here, if you look, we can definitely fit two rows going across here as well, one here and one here. So I can make this line Going down, now we need to figure out how many rows cross. So try to line that up there. One row going across like that. And then that's gonna be my last row right there. So now we need to count. One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, so wait. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's 12 plus 2. You know what? 
This one I think is too big. This one's too big. I think I can fit more in here. Okay, it can go like that. And like that. Yep, I can fit a whole nother row. So it really goes that you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you know how I knew that? Was because each one of these should split into four of these, right? Four of these fit in there. And if we had five here, we should have four times as many over there, which is 20. So when I realized I got to 18, I realized these went too big because 18 and five, that doesn't make sense. When I'm looking at four compared to 16, I realized that four of these are fitting in there, so this should be four times the amount. And when I got to this one, this one should be four times the amount of that as well. Okay, so you gotta have ways to catch your mistakes. All right, draw a figure and cover it with unit squares to find the area. Draw the same figure and use a unit square with a different size to find the area. So we're gonna do that on the back. So we're gonna use our big one and our small one. So we're gonna draw Yours is going to be any size, right? Do like a rectangle. Okay. And I want to use my small square here. Okay. So I want to have to draw to the side. Okay, equals one unit square. So, I put this in here. Put my line down. Put my line down. And it's gonna be a little bit off, but that's okay. This is gonna be, it's gonna be about that many because these are a little bit bigger. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. About 20 square units. And then it said also, draw the same figure and use a unit square with a different size. So now, look at your same square Draw the same shape, it says. And use these teeny, this teeny little one. It's a little too big. Can't use that. See how that's not the same size as that? A little bit smaller. So this little guy I would suggest drawing some small shapes because this is a lot to do. And these don't have to be exact. This is definitely like an estimate. So just that you can understand that area is the space inside a shape 
and how many little sections would you need? Okay, so this equals one square unit. And then we'll take this little guy, draw a line across here, and let's scoot him down. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's 14. 21, 28, so that would be 56 square units. So I want you to try this, draw a small shape. Don't go as big as I went, go for smaller shapes. Draw a square that's gonna explain, that's going to explain which one, what size you're using to figure out how many of these boxes does it take to fill up the whole inside. Okay.